Good kitten internet. You'll notice my setup has changed just a wee bit. Um, this is an emulator for reference. Um, I repeatedly tried to get back to where I was in uh, Milma and beyond and couldn't. It kept locking up. So much to my dismay, I had to switch back over to using an emulator. Um, using a different emulator uh, or a different core of RetroArch in this case. So this should be more accurate at the expense of it performing not quite as well. Generally, performance has been fine. I have a super powerful computer, so I'm not too concerned about that. Just pouring myself some sparkling water. Um, and I've gotten through the cave system, uh, the mountain pass between Milma and Adelaide. So I'm actually back at Surf Village at the moment, trying to find all the things that I may have forgotten. Um, also, directly above me is my favorite character of all time, Zed. Well, not of every game, but of Wild Arms, I should say. So all I've done is, from the save that you last saw, make another save in Milma Village and make another save in Surf. Rudy leveled up? I didn't even notice Rudy leveling up. Huh, okay. All those balloons must have leveled up Rudy. So, there's Rudy's stats. Cool. Anyway. Time to find that. Ooh, it's that chicken right there. That's just the light shroom chicken. I know I've hit that. That barrel there. No berry. I mean, I'm not expecting anything awesome here. I refuse to talk to anybody here. They're all dicks for being mean to Rudy. Rudy's awesome. Why would anybody want to be mean to Rudy? Anyway. Uh, let's see. Up there. Eight Gela. Came up here for eight Gela. So, how are you all? Um, not doing so great. My last week has been really rough on me. And in fact, after this, I have to go back to work again. Not physically, but mentally. All because I did not finish something on Friday that I was supposed to. Ah, yay, working on the weekend. Alright, where are you? Oh, not the chicken. Come on. Seventeen gil. And that's it. Okay. Let's get out of this place. They don't deserve me. And as I was doing, let's go back to Adelaide and see what we may have missed. So, as a reminder, we are currently sequence broken. Um, we've skipped a town that's not supposed to be skippable. I may still have to go back and do that section. I don't know. Uh, if you can't tell, I have everybody on auto battle right now, just so I can get through things a little faster. Uh, oh, um, the emulator I'm using is I'm using RetroArch, uh, specifically the Beetle PlayStation Core, which is from Mednafan. Mednafan is. Um, Apparently, something along the lines of we don't need no stinking uh, good emulator name or something like that. It's weird. I know I've missed things in Adelaide. Or not? I actually got everything? Shocked. Anyway, I need to um, write some crest graph stuff.
Hmm. Yeah, we'll do the def up one. It's better once I get a higher level. Because the higher level version actually hits the entire party. <clears throat> yeah. It's still a little scratchy from yesterday. Yeah. There's no ping. Okay, let's hit the castle. There's definitely a ping in there. Oh, um... In case if somebody asks, because I'm still ahead, so nobody's actually seen the sequence broken episode at the time that I'm recording this episode. Um, I do intend to keep the sequence broken one, unless if things are really broken. What? How? Must count as a different area. Anyway, let's find out what's behind this door. Hey, look. There's five treasure chests. Press graph. Press graph. Secret sign. Press graph. And Crest Graph. Okay, so Radar and Wild Arms 1 must be just for the current room. That makes things a lot harder for me to find in the castle. This area always looks like there should be something there. Hmm. Uh, so what was I saying before? Um, yeah, so Zed's the coolest. That particular picture is from the Wild Arms Alter Code F fan art, art book, if I remember correctly. It's not fan art, it's official. Zed's the coolest, regardless of what anybody says. And by coolest, I mean he's so adorkable. Yes, yes, I'll protect the princess, I swear. She doesn't need protection, though. She's really powerful. <laughs> I may have actually not been missing as many things as I thought. Huh. Okay. Please move out of my way, thank you. Nothing. All those have already been taken. This rooftop area is clear. Yeah, so soon. He was crying a whole bunch when I started trying to record earlier. That's when I decided I was just going to. Oh, well, not this soon. I have lap space. You can take lap space. That's when I decided I just wasn't going to record the um, section leading up to Adelaide just because why? It's not useful. <sighs> why are you crying as soon? No. I do have a kitty cam set up, but since this thing's not in the right spot, it's kind of hard to point the kitty cam. Uh, I guess I'll record four more spells. I'm gonna run out of spots. Not something I normally have as an issue this early in the game. Uh, let's silence. Sure. That'll be useful later on, maybe? Probably not. Counter spell, imprison, confusion. Make them sleep, that's not a terrible plan. I think sleep allows you to use Trickster more? I don't know, that's something I still need to investigate. Reduce fence group, reduce response group, blinding everybody. That one's an area of effect of all, although I don't know if it actually does anything. We'll flash them. And let's finish that up with a reduced defense group. Yeah. Won't you come up here, kitty cat? 
or on my lap or anywhere where my, your purse will be helpful. Okay. All right. Let's hit Kieran Abbey before we leave. Oh, also. Yep, that's what I thought. Um, they actually had weapons here that were upgrades from before, and I didn't realize it. Again, I'm making sure I have one of everything. And yes, I will be donating again to Adelaide, um, even though that's what screwed me over before. I'm going to do it again. Meryl? What are you doing, kitty? Everyone's spirits are starting to brighten, but we need more money. Would you donate 2,000, Gela? Sure. Alright, let's head out, then head back in. This is probably going to be mostly a cleanup episode. Um, because, honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen from the sequence break. I've never heard of anybody doing this. Although I'd be shocked if I was the first to do this. Alright, we still have negative music. No new chests added. So that can happen. What in the world are you doing, cat? He's currently looping around this small cat tree that I have to my left. Oh, we are maxed out on donations for the time being. Thought somebody told me what got upgraded. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, we're done with donations for the time being. Maybe it's the mayor? Nope. Hmm. I don't actually know what it is that changed, if anything. It might be the next one that starts changing things. Anyway, let's escape. And go down to Kiran Abbey, see what we forgot there. So much easier to use the analog stick for overworld. Because I need to use directional and I'm terror or diagonal, and I'm terrible at using diagonal with a D-pad. I know a lot of people swear by the D-pad. I don't. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. And I can't re-enter the um, Mystic Library because I need the teardrop to be able to enter. It's not going to be much of a spoiler, but you can in fact recover the teardrop in the game. So, we'll be able to return at some point. In fact, there's secret stuff in there that we couldn't get to in, at the time that we were in there. Alright, we've done all of that. Now I need to go back. I think I'm going to take a cut here and then um, relaunch, or start recording again afterward. Luckily, it's not as big of a deal for me to merge videos anymore. Oh, yep, I'm going to do that. See you in a moment, Internet. All right, and we're back. Uh, I am very heavily injured right now just because I I used Fast Forward, so... Um, oops. oops, the window's actually active, so that. Um, and walking through a cave that there's spots that you take damage for every second that you're standing there does not um, work very well. So let's just heal people up. There we go. Wow, everything feels slow now. So... Assuming that we're skipping St. Centaur somehow, the next place that we're supposed to go plot-wise is the Sand River. And the Sand River is right over here and has something very near and dear to me. This is the location of the uh, ability, or uh, the, whatchamacallit, um, the ability that Jack should have. The reason why we couldn't continue through here before and the reason why I didn't bother entering is that there's a monkey here that just sits there. Otherwise, you just walk up 
And here's a sand river. You can't do anything in here yet. But now that we have the um, doink wand, doo -doo 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 -doo, I've got an email. Hey, a human that speaks my tongue. Come with me. I'll show you the way. And you get through this secret area. Not really much of a secret, to be honest, because you have to go through here. This cave has a river of sand. The trick is to not fight the flow, but don't get lost. So I think this way just brings you back. Yeah, just brings you back. So yeah, as I was saying, I am using Beetle PSX, which is based off of Mendefan. Uh, it's supposed to be the most accurate emulator, so to my ears it sounds about right. So as radar shows, we've got chests. Many of them, probably. Hurry up. Yep, there's still another chest in this room. Radar is really helpful, by the way. It's technically not required. There's a chest down there. Alright, let's see what type of enemies we have in here. We've got toadstools. We already have our first pallet swap, don't we? Or are these actually the same enemy? They might actually be the same enemy. No, they're not. Definitely not the same enemies before. So we have a first pallet swap. Jack leveled up. Sweet. You know, at some point I'm actually going to look at all of these um, mentions of here's Jack. His level. Oh, luck's only good. And normal. Well, we can fix that. Eventually, I'll probably switch to just using the flowers before boss battles instead. Power apple. No more in that room. Definitely some in this room. Okay. Well, that looks awfully suspicious. You know... Orb of Power is a really nice one, if I remember right. Yeah, increases your maximum hit points by 25%. So I frequently have that on Rudy. Because honestly, two defense is nothing compared to having 280-ish hit points. 276. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I don't remember what I was saying now. So there's more chests in here. Oh, um, those hidden doors are really obvious to us. They were not obvious when I was playing this on a CRT as a kid. All right. Analyze, Toadstool, Rudy, you can take on the other one. It's a preemptive strike, so I know this is the way it's going to work. Let's see what they look like. Toadstool. It's level 17. 250 hit points. Weak against fire. Okay. That's easy enough. So everybody but Cecilia can take them on pretty easily. Actually, Jack, I want you to trickster. They have nothing. Good to know. Curtis, level 16. 300 hit points. Weakness fire. Hey, look, I'm seeing a theme here, aren't you? Ah, okay. Homp. I don't even hit very hard. There's probably something else to them. Anyway, if they don't have anything, then I'm not going to worry about anything else. Ah. 
I have a lot of money, though. That one battle was over half of what we just donated to Adelaide. And we're fine on hit points for the time being. I know we're going to have to jump off, but I want to make sure I get these chests first. Power apple. Ready apple. Now, I think it doesn't matter where I fall off at, but I can't remember for sure. Yeah, it does actually matter. I need to fall off to the right, not to the left. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's fast forward. There we go. One of the benefits of emulation. Being able to fast forward through some battles. Oops, wrong direction. Alright, I'm on the right side this time. It should bring us to a new area. Yep. Alright, there's still a, still items here. That's one of them. The item up there, I saw the blinking green. Alright, what type of battle do we have here? A cave... A cave Taurus. I think it's supposed to be Cavesaurus. I don't know. But Cave Taurus doesn't sound right to me. Also, those are the weirdest looking tortoises. Trixor. Analyze. Punch in the face. You got anything? Yes, you do. Neat. Game of Taurus. 500 hit points weak to water. Sound effect. Ow! I actually hurt. Well, I took out one of the tortoises. Oh. Picking on Cecilia. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'm going to keep tricksoring you, Mystic. <sighs> Mystic Hillberry? Or I think I'm actually going to do a Mish Mystic Potion Berry in this case. It's not too much longer before I can actually buy potions myself. Potion Berries, that is. Still couldn't steal. Hmm. Yes, yes, in. I mean, if you stayed up there, that wouldn't be a big deal. But you're gonna try to jump down, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, there's stuff here. It's almost as though I don't want a cat to jump down. Earthshaker. That's a bunch of earth damage. If you couldn't tell from the fact that Cecilia took zero and the other two took damage, so that was a magic attack. Trixor. You know what? If you're still dead, I'll summon a guardian. Or, still alive, not still dead. Yes, yes, you. Couldn't steal, and it's dead. You wanna be on my lap, it seems? Worth a lot of money, at least, and I only gained a heal berry, unfortunately. Well, I have to go down here. Ooh, slow down of the game. Interesting. Grab this. Party apple. No more ping. Save point, because those are always good signs. <clears throat> oh, and if I do, I probably will end up having to go back to St. Centaur at some point. I just really want to see how far I can get without... Um... You know what? I don't really even count that spot as a real save. Surf Village doesn't deserve another save. Um, what was I saying? So, if I do have to backtrack, what I'll end up doing is show you all after being there. I'm hoping I can get far enough where I could at least get teleport. I don't think I can get that far, but it's worth a shot. Two Cave Tauruses. I still have yet to steal from them. Uh, but they were weak against water. Hillberry, meh. Wasn't worth all of that effort. I spent 20 MP on trying to steal Hillberry. You're dead. That was easy. And you're probably dead also, aren't you? No, you're not. 
Now you're dead. Yep. Oh yeah, I need to open up my one note. So I can see my rare item checklist. Where are you at? Third river of sand. This is the third river of sand. It's right here. Right here. All right. There's writing on it, but can't make it out. Which is why we can do that. Some sort of writing is becoming visible in the flame. In battle, the most important thing you have is your mind. Keep a stable mind, relax your breathing, and your body will do the rest. Basically, it means to calm down. I'll try, but... Ching! And this is the one I'm thinking of, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. We will be using our secret signs on this. Completely. That brings us all the way back to the beginning. Uh, well, it's time to start learning it. Cost six right now. You notice that it targets one of your allies, not one of the enemies. We'll target Cecilia on it. Cecilia, flame them. Rudy, kill one of those. And you notice when it fails, it still reverts to just attacking the enemy. Oh, great. They're confused. Oh, well. Ah, Candace apparently has baby peppers. Water gun! <laughs> I don't think I tried stealing from, uh, whatchamacallit, the toadstools yet, but uh, I don't know if I care that much, to be honest. Rush marks. Also known as killing them dead. So that's been two attacks that have jumped around. I have a theory that it's one attack per tier. There's the boogie. It's the boogie. How am I doing on hit points anyway? Oh, that's not bad. All the way back through again. Darn it. So if I'm right, it will actually trigger this time when I use it. Yep, I don't know. Wow, they went first? That's weird. Well, it's not triggering this time. And the other toadstool runs away, so this combat's finished. <laughs> okay, confusion's gone. I'll save again, just because. In case if I have to reload, because that would suck to go back through that. Save early, save often, folks. Mm. Only about a half an hour right now. That's not too bad. I'm probably only going... Nope, don't walk in there again. Probably only going to do one video today. Because I desperately need to actually cook for the first time in weeks. All right, so, assuming that Jack doesn't get confused immediately after, before everything again, um, this should be 
where this works. Cecilia, I want you to freeze the big guy in the middle. Rudy, go punch a tortoise. Yep. Welcome to Heal Blade, which that was a little fast, but um, Heal Blade is the best healing spell in the game. Yeah, there's no exception. Jack is actually the best healer in the game because Jack's healing can be dropped to 1 MP. Cecilia's can't be. So while Jack doesn't have anywhere near as much MP as Cecilia, it's a lot more efficient. Eh, the heck, that's fine. So this is the reason why I save up my secret sign, so I can use it on Heal Blade. Um, I don't think I have enough to drop it to one yet. I think I only have three or four secret signs. Uh. Yeah, Cecilia deserves to boogie for this one. Because Jack learned Heal Blade. Yeah, I have three secret signs. I'm going to use two of them right now. Oh, yeah. Nothing. I'm pretty sure this is the exit over here. No? So I'll have treasure chests. Or treasure chest singular. One of those. Uh, there's one right there. Power Apple. Naturally, because you have to have one of each apple, right? I think every dungeon in the game has one of each apple in it or something like that. It's a Stanga! It's a Snuffleupagus. I don't care what anybody else says. So the other one that I would like to drop cost on would be Trickster. Although stealing items in combat has the same standard RPG problem of usually things don't have anything worth stealing. Analyze the big Snuffleupagus. Heat solve. Okay. Such a weird enemy. Level 19, 800 hit points, no weaknesses. But it's slow. And dead. Cecilia leveled up. Nice. Take a look at Cecilia. There's her new stats. Her attack power is getting rather high for being a mage. I mean, it's still almost half that of Jack's, but still. Also, her sorcery is way better than everybody else. As expected. So the heal blade is what I wanted to wait for to do analysis on sorcery, because I don't know if um, Jack's heal blade is affected by sorcery or not. The stat. There's the exit, and I believe this is over by yard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Random item shop. Uh, let's actually stock up on some heal. No, let's not do that until we've bought equipment. I'm trying to learn my lesson. Yeah. It's up here, I think. Yeah. So this is Ship Graveyard, or Yard. It's the same music as... Uh, same music and appearance. Serenade. That's headgear. Significantly better headgear, in fact. Uh, it's the same general appearance as... Um, I thought it was there. Is it in the bear? Okay. Same general appearance as Sir Village, only it's a much bigger place. We're going to grab all the items first before we start talking to people. See, this time we actually have spots to put the... Or, there's actual um, stuff in the big boxes. I mean, sure, they're just heal berries, but, you know... nothing in any of those boxes good to know we're also here much earlier than well not much earlier we're in here a little early Bushberry, nice nothing in here oh might as well grab equipment while we're at it yep time to spend most of our money again Oh, 
all of our money, actually. Wow, is that a defense increase. Can't afford two of them. I think I'm gonna get the Sheik Bolaro. Just because Cecilia needs defense more than the others do, and yeah. Although at the moment that means Cecilia has the best defense in the party, which is weird. Pleasing Garden? Never heard of it. In the southwest, there's a place called the Pleasing Garden. The ruin roams the desert as if afloat on the sand. The maze of mirages inside the Pleasing Garden is a maze of illusions. To dispel the illusion, you must retrace the path that you have already traveled. Also heard that at the second cross section, you must walk straight through and then go to the left on the way back. Wonder why? So, um, the Pleasing Garden is the one that I was thinking of that traveled around constantly. Although apparently, from what I was reading, the other one was supposed to as well. So I wonder if I hit a glitch. Nothing in there. Those are the docks. This is the area I want to go to. So this is where everything in Philgaia washes up in, from the inner sea, basically. So there's a revived fruit and a toy hammer here. And nothing else. Um, at various points of the game, you'll find more things in here. Puppy and a kitty, we should talk to them. The Guardian Blade is in the sand. You can't find it. Why the hell does a cat know that? My master told me this tale long ago. During the ancient wars, the final battles were fought around here. There was this weapon called the Guardian Blade, the mightiest of all weapons. There were several legends around the, these parts regarding the blade. That is true. Guardian Blade is basically a nuke. Power Apple. Nothing else here. Okay. You a customer what? So, I should actually have more weapons at this point. Unfortunately, we kind of skipped that section. Plus the one who lives for today! Dispel. The Town of Yard. Everyone calls it a terrible name. The Ship Graveyard. Not that bad of a name. Oh, also. Kitty. I'm a lucky cat. This town is full of fish. Desolate Harbor used to be bustling with merchants. Arms Meister. Still 30 gel at night. We will rest. So yeah, I think the reason why I'm so poor right now is because I actually know where things are. Left Anna there at the Pleasing Garden. I was a hotshot dream chaser back then. Back with a sword called the Guardian Blade. Now the lust for the sword, I, I, my wife Anna. As you can see, I can no longer walk. Will you please retrieve my wife's bracelet from the Pleasing Garden? I want to give my wife a proper burial. So we have our quest. Um, I probably should go back to Baskar. The ex-Dream Chaser Dan and his wife challenged the Pleasing Garden in the desert. They were separated in the maze, and Dan was the only one who came back. He was injured, and so he started a life here. Poor Anna. Anna. Oh yeah, can I buy potion berries yet? No. Uh, email come in. It's not a big deal. Check the dock area. I don't think there's anything here, but you know. Oh no, this is just the exit. No? Wrong button. Or wrong tool. Nothing here. Sad to see an empty harbor. Yep. So this is. That was yard. There's not really much to yard, to be honest. Um, I had actually not meant to come here yet, and I had meant to go to Baskar to double-check things and talk to animals, puppies, and kitties. But I guess I'm here, so let's go to the Pleasing Garden. Uh, I'm at about 45 minutes or so. 
Oh, let's actually save. Saving is useful. Save. So also you'll notice that I had cleared out the other saves. I think what I'm going to do from now on is clear out all of the saves that I have backed up. That way I know which ones are backed up. A lot easier that way. All right, pleasing garden is somewhere in this giant desert. We have to base it off of zooming. There it is. And it's in a random spot each time. So when I leave, it won't be zoomed in at all. All right, I am definitely underleveled for this. So if we want to exit, we just go down there and that's it. All right. Go toward the right. And there's a teleporter. This place is a giant maze, by the way. And if I remember right, we're actually here multiple times. I think there was something else special in here. All right, sand scissors. I seem to remember that they're weak against spark. Trickstore? Analysize. Yes, I said analysize. Uh... Potion berries, okay. Uh, 300 hit points, weak against wind. Why is this weak against wind? I don't know. Well, that one's dead. Zero armor attack! Bam! So basically, that's an attack that ignores all of your armor. Which is terrible. This low of a level is not that big of a deal. Later on, it becomes really nasty on certain enemies. Yeah, I can just attack. Her attack is so bad right now. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I need to learn how to mystic things. As in, um, what does what. Alright. Rolaus! I'm pretty sure that's a mistranslation, and they're using a German translation for something. Anyway, if you can't tell, they're weak against Holy. Who would have ever thunk it? Trickstore? Analyze. Punch in the base. Trickstore! Go hand pan! Quinn and steel. So I failed. Carlos. 400 hit points, weak against Holy. Also, weak against being stabbed in the face. Hipster, punch. Mm, pardon me. He dead yet? He ain't soft, meh. Although, unfortunately, that probably means that they paralyze. Also, they're really creepy in how they attack. That's what you're supposed to miss. Save point. We haven't even done that much. So this place is a giant maze. I just happen to remember a couple of things. I'm not looking anything up right now. Just... I remember leveling up quite a bit in here. Mostly because, for the time, the enemies are relatively high XP giving, and also you always seem to need... Alright. So, I don't remember what was said now. We need the hookshot. We don't have the hookshot. I think this might be where you get the hookshot. That'd be nice. Alright, antlions. Fun fact about them, they can heal themselves.
See? Hence why I'm casting silence on them. Because screw that. Also, they have potion berries. You gonna be silenced? Yes, you are. Good. And you're probably gonna die shortly anyway. But I no longer care about you. Take out the one that will do more damage. Although they all kind of do a lot of damage, don't they? Hmm. Oh well. Damn it, Cecilia. Mystic. Um... So all of Cecilia's equipment seem to be the one I can use for Mystic. Let's try the Rune Staff. Cecilia's just gonna kill it. No, because Jack will instead. Yep. Oh well. I'm never going to learn what all, all these mystic things do. Oh yeah, let's rearrange so I can actually find anything ever. Okay. Teleporters. I think this just teleports you back, and I think the second time it said go left. I'm ambushed this time. Half expecting ambush heal. actually figure out what in the world these do so those three are the nullify items i know what they're going to do i'm gonna be trying the weapons first because they're offensive in nature in some way stab still alive mystic dispel okay that's not what I wanted to have happen, but okay. All right, so that was rune staff spell target question mark. That might not actually be single target, so and it's not going to survive Jack's attack. But in case if it does, prism stick. No, prism stick. I think I've done. Isn't that field? Or something. Uh, I don't have it written down, so. You're dead, though, I think. Yeah. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. Ba -da -ba. Now, if it gets there, sweet. I will find out what Mystic Prism Staff does for sure. It's not going to get there, though. Rudy leveled up, though. It's good to know. Yay, Rudy. Yay, Rudy. 210 attack power. Jeez. It means his weapon is providing plus 80 right now. Oh, so Rudy's luck is a little low, but that's fine. He'll bury. Really? Just a heal berry. All of that was for just a freaking heal berry. Oh wait, no, it's not. Told you this is a maze. <sighs> okay. Well, that's not gonna survive very long after that. Nope. I think it was. So you have to go left, then you go back, was it? 
No. Go straight. Yeah, you go heal yourself. That's fine. Yep, you're not surviving that. Game to potion berry. Sweet. Straight or to the left? Oh, this is the save point, which I am going to save again. Ba -ba. Probably should remove that second memory card. Good for you. You're not going to survive this. This is still bookshot land. Yep. Can't do anything about that. Let's use the teleporters. Don't hear anything. You can't carry any more duplicator. That's going to come up quite a bit now that we've glitched our duplicators. I can't sell off a bunch of them, so... So that was the button that we hit, by the way, was being able to go through here. I would like to see what's over on the left side, though. I think it teleports us to the exit, so screw that. Our objective was down below. We've got two basilisks and a fartlouse. What are you, Basilisks? Trick store! Oh, has nothing. Okay. Pretty sure they cause paralysis, because there's no stone condition in this game. Also, not used to the fact that Cecilia has the best defense in the party. This does not make any sense to me. Analyze! Basilisks, level 18, 420 hit points, tee hee, and no weaknesses. Alright, so Jack plus Cecilia can take one on. But Cecilia instead is going to Mystic Prism Stick. Mystic! Alright, what does Prism Stick do? Is it field? It's field. I don't care because it's just going to be killed. Okay. Well, now I have it noted down. Jack leveled up, though. Also, we're getting lots of money, which is going to be useful because we're squishy right now. Jack's new level up. Sweet. With his 95 power weapon. Really early in the game for something like this. I know it's because I sequence broke a little bit. I'm actually wondering if the game's smart enough to realize I sequence broke. Because I thought there was more than just this one quest there. I mean, we still haven't been given a reason to go to Yard. Oh, right. This is a boss battle. Come on, there you are. Okay. 
Gigamantis, or excuse me, Gigmantis. It's the Gigamantis, let's be honest here. Meteor Dive. Um, pretty sure since it's a boss, it won't tell me anything. How about armor down and punch it in the face? Zero armor attack, dang it. You see what I mean by those can start hurting really fast? I don't even do that much damage. Of course, if I armor down, it's going to start doing a little bit more. Go blade yourself. Cilia. Armor down. So, armor down stacks. Thunderbolt! Great. They use magic. Good thing I heal bladed. Another armor down. That time it worked. See? I'm doing nearly double damage now. Which is part of the reason why my algorithm for um, which one damage dealing actually makes sense. Alright. I'm going to go back to meter diving. You're going to... Armor down again. Do I actually have resistance one, or did I not take it? Or magic. I didn't take it. Okay. You know what? Now is as good time as any. Let's try out some more. Um, magical rod. I don't have. We're gonna armor arm lock on. Meteor Dive while they have lower defense is nice, because it does quite a bit more damage. Mantis Fist! Okay. That was significantly less damage than your user armor attack, but whatever. Magical Rod Power is released. It's Blast! Sweet! Okay, that makes me feel better. Jack, go ahead and summon your guardian. Um, Cecilia, we're actually going to Mystic a Potion Berry because we're getting low on hit points. I'm a little concerned about Jack's hit points right now. Actually, it's only Jack that's that low. Let's go ahead and heal Jack. Arm lock on. I didn't even notice how much damage I dealt with the arm lock on. Well, nope, Jack's probably dead. Nope, he's alive. Barely. Fengalon! Haha, kitty attack! Wait, didn't I get a better one? 571, okay. That's less damage than a lot of other things. Bling! Boom. Yeah, his normal attack is starting to approach that. You'll blade yourself. Mystic. Uh, Mage Staff. That's on an ally. Do it to Jack. Punch in the face. Mantis Fist! That didn't even hurt that much. Whatever. Mystic! Although Cecilia is in range of zero armor attack killing him. Field. Sweet. Not what I wanted, but good to know. Mage Stick is... I should probably actually be displaying what I'm doing. Whatever. Uh, mage stick is defense single target. Okay. Jack, how about you accelerate? This is the other reason why Jack's healing is so good, is that he can accelerate to make sure he heals first. And I can control how fast he moves as a result. Mystic. Uh, let's see. We've got the breeze cape. Or no, we have the mystic breeze. I'm going to assume that was supposed to be Breeze Cape. Um, which that is air screen. White robe. Targets everybody. Okay. Punch in the face. Accelerator! Heel blade! Bing duckies. Zero armor attack on Jack. As expected, the zero armor attack does in fact ignore the def up. White robe. Lock state. Interesting. 
Ooh, that's actually really useful later on. Ooh, that was nearly bad. State party. So lock state is an advanced spell that we actually don't have access to yet, I think, that basically um, locks down all status conditions on the party. So I'm immune to status effects for a while as a result. And yeah, I'm totally using this to test things out, if you couldn't tell. Uh, Mystic. You know what those are. Uh, Mist Blazer. Single target. We'll target Jack. And Summon Guardian. Mentis Fist. Ow. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Blazer. Reflect. Okay. That did very little damage. That's not too surprising. Rudy's magic is terrible. Alright. Attack. Mystic. Uh, Magus Rope. Single target. I'm going to guess that the def down is no longer affecting. Thunderbolt! Well, notice that I still got hit by the Thunderbolt, even though I've reflect up. Uh, Mystic, Magus Robe. Suction. Interesting. That might actually be really useful. Jack, you have a lot of stoof. Mystic. Check um, I'm going to guess that this one's deaf up. Although Mage Stick was also deaf up. We'll find out. Punch in the face. Thunderbolt. Ooh, I need to heal badly. It just dawned on me. Jack could be one-shotted now. 59, Mystic. Yep. Oh, it's Protect. Okay. That's probably better, actually. What was that item? I've already forgotten. I can just look down here. Um, that would have been... Protect Cape. Okay. Make sure I have this. You're going to Accelerator Heal Blade yourself. You're actually going to Mystic Potion Berry, assuming you survive. And you're going to lock on and shoot him with a cannon. I need to make sure Jack survives because Jack can heal Jack. Mentis Fist on Jack. Good plan. Good job, me. All according to plan. Hey, I wonder what Mystic Potion Berry does. Oh, hey, look, it heals everybody. Who would have thunk? Bing, bong. Bichu. Mystic. What are we on next? Capucci? Target's enemy, okay. Arm lock on, shoot him in the face. I'm really not set up well for um, this type of thing. Why does that keep happening? Analyze. Interesting. See what I mean by analyzing bosses is useless. And it's dead. We got through most of my items now, so that's a good thing, right? I know we're over on time. I'm just gonna finish up the dungeon, that's it. I could have lucky carded that. It was probably not worth it. And 
and that's what we came here for. We got the grapple, finally. Give it a try. Don't mind if I do. Everybody has four tools, by the way. That's what it does. Sadly, we can't bring the head of this thing with us. Out of curiosity, because I am on an emulator, I can just save state. The, the blue thing that you see down below, it's actually cutting off part of the game. I guess that probably would have actually been faster. It's about the same speed. Oh well. Let's go fast. Gotta go fast. Honestly, let's just set for reserve. And just auto battle. Okay, Jack can now one-shot him, it looks like. Cecilia leveled up. There's Cecilia's new stats. Her sorcery is ridiculous as usual. Jack is so low on MP right now. I really need to drop the cost of heal blade some more. So, now we can go over here and do that. Teleporters. Straight, then left, I want to say. Bracelet is emitting a sad light. Bracelet acquired. That's it. That was the only quest objective in here. This is not a load-bearing room or anything. And this brings you all the way back. So I'm going to go back and figure out what's in the other rooms. Basilisks. Might as well just zoom through here. Right, it's... Everything hurts. Why does everything hurt so much? Oh right, because I don't have good equipment. Because I don't have armor on most of my characters. What type of battle are you? Stun cloud. Ah, stupid paralysis. Okay, I need to actually pay attention because this could be dangerous now. Mystic. Circulate? Yes. There we go. And everybody's stunned. Well, we're not doing anything for a while. I can't even do that. Uh, looks like... Nope, everybody's still stunned. Ah, uh, this is bad. Well, Rudy just hit condition green. Jack just... unstunned himself. So that's good. Jack has, like, no hit points left. Yep, Jack hit condition green. Accelerator, heal yourself. Mystic, Potion Berry, heal everybody. Rudy, just punch. And if I get a chance, I'll do some more Mystic Discovery, I guess. I just needed Jack healed because, um, yeah, he was in dangerous territory. Mystic Potion Berry is enough to heal everybody. Yep, it's dead. So, that was annoying. This is why I don't like dealing with Basilisks. I don't think I ever went down here. No, I didn't. 
Crest graph, crest graph. Nice. I remember going back and forth in here and never seeing the thing in the background. Because, funny thing, when you're playing an original PlayStation with um, composite video, it's really hard to see much of anything in light. So, I miss a lot of things. As I mentioned, I missed um, blowing things up as well. That brings us back to the beginning. Dang it. Pretty leveled up. Then here's Rudy's new stats. I think it went up quite a bit, looks like. Alright. Actually saving here. Oi. been playing for over an hour this one video segment is almost at an hour now in fact whoops but i want to finish this up and i'd rather finish this than cut this one in half all right we went straight i'm gonna go to the command menu and hit save state go to the right Now we're in a different spot. Go to the left. Go to the right. Is this one of those but thou must? Go up. Yep. Okay. Save state, load state. Go left. It's basically the same thing. But no matter what, you actually go straight. Oh, wait, wait. This is a different spot. Interesting. Already in here. This is the world of mirages, the curving light, and the endlessness. Free me from this prison of mirages, innocent one. Let the power of the light show this world some shadows. It almost sounds ominous. Flash rune. I think that might be it that's in here. What is the flash rune good for? Oh! That's a really good rune. Because keep in mind, I'm currently doing something that increases speed. So that means it's an increase to speed, strength, and vitality. Yes, please. Right. This brings me back to the beginning, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It brings me back to the bracelet room. Alright. I think that's everything, then. I'm going to save again. And I am going to leave. We can actually return to this dungeon for reference. And then going back to yard, saving, and we're stopping. Uh, actually, I'll finish up the quest. Why not? See, notice that we're in a completely different spot of the map, and it didn't zoom in. Yeah, that's... That's how this works. Okay, we're back in yard. Let's go talk to the person to finish the quest. I don't even know what we're getting for this. Thank you. This is the bracelet I gave to my wife. You found it for me in the garden? If only we had the sense to distinguish between courage and stupidity. My wife's death taught me a harsh lesson about what's truly precious. Courage and stupidity. Many think that courage is power. Real power is when you surpass your own desires to protect something dear. Courage slowly builds up inside of Jack. 
Sonic Vision Force acquired. He gained the third level force power. So the merchant ship is here. Now we can cross the inner sea. Tide washes up debris all over from the inner sea. Just recently, the remains of a ghost ship washed up on the beach. A ghost ship? We can't go yet. Let's check this thing out. Which we will check out next time. So Sonic Force. Uh, I don't think we can actually see it from here. I got some type of notification. Let's go ahead and... Oh. First, in... Then, actually, before I forget, I'm going to do a couple more things. Because, you know, might as well delay this even further. I love how Rudy still only has one arm. Um, buying equipment. Metal jacket, yes please. Dust poncho, yes please. There, now not everybody is squishy. Oy. Now I will save and stop. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I will talk to you next time. I'm also making sure I save state afterward, because I've definitely messed games up doing it that way. Bye, internet!